Always remember the swamps of Dagobah, Reese. Dagobah? Yeah, the swamps of Dagobah, where the guy's ass exploded in surgery. What? Right, um, Torchman. Torchman, fucking Torchman. He's a repurposed fire safety training robot. You know what that means, Reese. Oh no. Only you can prevent forest fires. My kids! I can't. I, I remember when I first told you that and you burst out laughing. Oh. And every single time after that, anytime I just say, My kids! I almost you spat coke out onto my PC because of you. <laughs> You're welcome. Just to um, ruin some holiday makers' days. Why are the trees robots? That's concerning. Because the trees grew out of root kits. <laughs> really? Really, Reese. That's body yes. that's that's Sam levels of joke. Ah, they're actually hiding folkers inside the tents this time. Oh god. Why I have so many questions about shit that shouldn't be robotic being robotic in this series. You know th 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 this robot forest is going is just going to be littered with pythons. Fuck's sake. Be attacked by fucking stew pot and wheels, Reese. Oh, this is like this is the future of the Russian military. You might you might find um, mechanical big cats roaming this area too. Oh, come on, where's the ship on? Well, there's uh, there'll be loads of Linuxes, won't there? Fuck sake, Linuxes. <laughs> oh, fuck sake, that was bad. That's stretching it, Reese. Hang on a second, let me just run from the advancing wall of death. Oh no, my mistake, they've also got firefoxes. Reese, you trash. <laughs> Ac actual trash? Yep, fire! From the firefoxes. Right, at what point during this conversation do you want the clip of Will Smith edited in? Because <laughs> I know... Oh. I know that's what you're trying to go with this. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Was that not where you were going with this? No. Okay. The moment's gone. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. We're, we're, we're... Oh, yeah. Here comes the burning. Oh, no. The Almighty Phoenix. The movie that killed the X-Men franchise. Uh, I did not watch that film. I don't think anyone watched that movie. Oh, God. bunch of robots burning a wicker man in the background. But they're robots, so it's a wicker tower processor. Oh God, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Glad someone else done. Oh, I can just shove him off the edge. Fuck you, Russia. What are you gonna against Russia? Nothing. It's more their leisure that I have a problem with, if I'm honest with you. Do you really think this is just somewhere in the middle of Siberia? Where they've just decided, in, in one of these um, closed KGB cities, or closed communist cities, where they deci decided to build everything, including even the trees, out of robots? No, that's, that's what this is. This is the future of Mongolia. Please tell me that you've seen, like, modern Mongolia, because it's hilarious. Well, Pot, I've seen videos of Mongolia. Obviously, the throat singing has become a meme. No, but, like, because the people in Mongolia just live like they did centuries ago, but, like, with modern conveniences on top. Well, yeah, many of them uh, enjoy the traditional nomadic lifestyle. People of Ulaanbaatar, obviously, are sedentary. It's like they all live in tents, but also they have big-ass satellites with, like, 15,000 megabytes of Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's modern technology adapting to the lifestyle of uh, the nomads. There are people in Kyrgyzstan who live like that, in Kazakhstan too. Well, of course, one, one meme in, in probably one Mongolia has been, of course, uh, the description of 4chan as a Mongolian basket weaving forum. What the fuck? <laughs> you don't know that one? Nope. So the meme originated as 
describing 4chan as a Japanese anime uh, website or a Japanese anime forum or a Japanese anime watching forum and then people just applied this to random countries and random activities and so Mongolian basket weaving forum became one of them just to emphasize the randomness of the site or just the heavily niche nature of the website. Do we even know? Who is this 4chan? I'll never get tired of that fucking botch news article. No, oh, it's, it's funny when different boards had their golden ages. Yeah, I can agree to that. Ooh. Well, one of the regular posters on the cooking board is just some guy who, d who gets drunk every night posting pictures of his cat. Okay. Yeah, what he does is he buys ingredients for his dinner. And he posts pictures of the ingredients he's going to cook with, and then he put uh, his, his his cat is always right next to the ingredients. Whatever happened to that guy off the fitness boards? Did he die? Scooby or whatever the fuck his name was? Oh no, he's still alive. He hasn't been on fit in ages. Okay. What was it? Oh, that, that's right. Coming coming back to the, my original point, this is the future of Mongolia, just like they built an entire nomadic forest at PC parts. Sorry, God, what were we saying? Yeah, um, 4chan basket weaving club. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the guy on CK posts he posts pictures of his cat, and it usually has the caption "Getting dickered tonight, boys." By dickered, he means drunk. And then after he cooks, he always posts a picture of his cat too. Mm -hmm. Or he he feeds his cat. Or if if he has some leftover meat, he often feeds that to the cat. On uh, DIY, there was some guy for quite a few years. Uh, he he bought some he bought a bunker off the Swedish military. What? Some of you, right? what? Yeah, <laughs> some guy just bought a bunker off the Swedish military and he periodically posted on 4chan. <laughs> How did he get this money for this military bunker, you might ask? Well, he, he, he says that he rode the casino boom. Bullshit. Ap no. Bullshit. No one's That's not lucky. That's what he said. He says he, he said he saw the market at the right time and he rode the casino boom. Uh, maybe he owned a maybe he owned a business or he owned a casino website or something like that. Either way, he he just says he rode the casino boom and then they had enough money and the Swedish military was selling a bunker, so he decides to buy this bunker and he steady steadily renovating it over the years. Fortran has some of the weirdest collections of human beings. We got into some guy who was in Wuhan in February of 2020, right when obviously all of this COVID stuff was kicking off. And I think he was posting from inside one of the hospitals, trying to warn people about the virus. And it was a very hot thread. And, uh, speaking, of, sp speaking of hot threads... Mm -hmm. ah. yeah. And uh, a, a Canadian came along and just killed the thread in one post. I there is a, uh, there's a wall of text that, you, that he copied and pasted which um, has been brought to the attention of people in the West, which instantly disconnects Chinese people from the internet, apparently. What the... okay. Because it contains words that are blocked by the Chinese censors. What? Yeah, it's just this wall of text. Uh, as opposed to sort of some Japanese man who's playing an online game, he says, uh, you just, just post a couple of these words and the Chinese people will just be disconnected. It's um, a load of Chinese characters and some English words on there as well. Uh, I can read the English words. No, no, wait, to... no, no, let's not. Like, we're already, I, I, like, we're already going to have to censor a bunch of stuff. Uh, like, we, we legitimately are actually going to have to censor ourselves and post now for this one. <laughs> Oh god! Yeah, he, he just posted this, and obviously that meant that the guy who posted from the uh, hospital in Wuhan wasn't able to post anymore because these censored words were found on the website. Are you familiar with that 4chan green text where the guy has an Egyptian friend at the same time as like the Giza Springs happens? Oh yeah. Last online 615 days ago. Yeah. It says something to uh, to the to the effect of um, 
bad times ahead, friend. Maybe bad, no bad times, friends ahead. Maybe yes. no house. Maybe no computer. Maybe no home. We are two of so uh, I I go now, but we are two of soul. I will be back. Last online six hundred days ago. Good luck, you beautiful bastard. Oh dear. Fortune has some strange fucking stories. Always remember the swamps of Dagobah, Reese. Dagobah. Yeah, the swamps of Dagobah, where the guy's ass exploded in surgery. What? <laughs> Have you not heard that green text? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm taking you on a fucking journey after the stream's over, Reese. <laughs> Hang oh. on a second. Don't Google it. Don't Google it. I'll put the video on afterwards. Oh, goody. Hang on a second. Let me just... Um... Oh, we're fighting a pyrotechnics expert this level, by the way. Apparently, we're in, like, a rejected Duke Nukem level. If the fucking Los Angeles bridge in the background's anything to go by. Yeah, so... Also, Forger Greetex is the guy who contracted leprosy from armadillos. We've already talked about that one, but yeah. Yeah, I'm just reminding you. Then there's some guy who um, accidentally started a forest fire. Um, what else was the other dumbass green text stories? Um... Basically, he 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 tried to he tried to make his own incendiary rounds to, as he described, uh, burn the fur off squirrels, and uh, he accidentally started a forest fire. So we get animal cruelty, I suppose. Yeah, he got what he deserved. There is um one post that I won't mention because it's very explicit. We I mean, got the infamous Navy SEALs coffee pasta, obviously. Oh yeah. And then um the Ryan Gosling green text story. Then, then there's a guy who who accidentally bumped into a load of uh, Swedish historical reenactors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he he was he was drunk, running through the streets, and uh, a load of guys just ran after him, uh, beating him in an alley. And a, a bunch of Swedish reenactors in like 18th or 17th century um, uniforms walked out and said in very old-fashioned words, uh, "Who was accosting this fine gentleman outside our residence?" And they say, uh, "Well, obviously they're drunk. They're, this guy's he, he he deserves to get beaten." So he says, "Right, stand and deliver, you blackguards!" And they all draw fucking swords. So those people run away. Uh, this so sounds like inside. something that you get up to. He goes inside and he drinks with them. Turns out the guy legitimately... Ha well, one of them has an eye patch. Turns out he legitimately lost his eye in a machine shop accident. So he stumbles home even more drunk with a hat. <laughs> oh, God. On the topic of people losing their fingers in machine shop accidents, let's talk about Black Sabbath. Because, I don't know about that. Because of my raging fucking ADD. So, um, one of the guitarists in Black Sabbath worked in, like, a bottle factory or something. And, like, a day before he was due to work in the band, he accidentally chopped the tips of his fingers off. So he just replaced them with, like, bits of plastic bottles so he could play guitar. Wow. I am reminded of a post I saw on the travel board. Uh, some guy went to some Southeast Asian country. It was a... A rather wholesome thread, actually. A rather enjoyable one. It was about travel romances. It was um, mostly it was people traveling to foreign countries, meeting foreign women there, and genuinely forming heartfelt relationships and having their lives changed for the better. Some of them had actually married the people they met over there and were posting in the thread. Other people were posting about they themselves were the um, the local, the native, who met a traveler. Uh, and had decided to form a relationship. Anyway, one guy posted about um, a woman that he'd fallen in love with in Southeast Asia, and uh, he was uh, he was asked for a picture, and he posted this picture of this woman, and he said, "Wait, I know that girl." <laughs> okay. Yeah, it turns out this um, this was the day where two people were well, chan inadvertently discovered they, that they had become Eskimo brothers, as it were. <laughs> nice. Poor lad. Uh, there the, the, the was a guy on fit who decided to um, jerry rig a, a way to train his neck muscles. Go on. How did this murder him, Reese? Oh, he, he didn't murder himself. He just described that he was waterboarding himself. <laughs> what? Yeah. So what he did was he had some. 
some weight on a dumbbell and he tied together some fabric and he knotted them through and he was lying on the edge or with his head just off the edge of something and he only had a couple of weights on there and the idea was that he would keep his head up there with a, this cloth draped across his, head, his face with the weights behind him and he was trying to train his neck muscles that way and people were telling him this is dangerous what the fuck are you doing crossfit and then also someone else crossfit said, someone else said remember to stay hydrated drink through the uh, through the cloth and then he <laughs> had a bottle of water that he was pouring <laughs> onto his face through this fabric and he 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 put the caption as waterboarding what the fuck I think that's a good spot to end the episode after we get this and get back to the menu. Because all we got left is final boss now. Are you fucking dead? No, I'm not dead. Okay, just checking. I, I, I remember another green text I found, which was a um, guy saying, play chess with computer with uh, play chess with someone online. Load up chess on my computer and set the opponent to master difficulty when I'm playing them. They move. I simulate their move on my computer. Copy what the master difficulty bot does. Repeat. Easy victory. <laughs> oh, gee, that's that's actually quite impressive. What is it, Otto? It's oh, devilish. It's be it's big brain time. Could it be? Indeed, it could. My genius neither runs nor hides. Wily, light, and you, Mega Man. How dare you use my double gear system? Now you've crossed the line. I'll turn you into scrap myself. I'm at point E one six eight five five seven eight. Come to my gear fortress. I'll be waiting for you. Gear fortress. That's all we needed. I'm heading out, Dr. Light. Mm. It's time to finish this. Good luck, Mega Man. It's up to you to stop Dr. Wily. Yes, sir. You can do it, Mega I'm just, yeah, so, I'm just, I'm just very distracted um, by that mini mall rotisserie chicken up there. Okay. Oh, dear. Right, I think that's a good spot for us to end the episode there, Reese. Anything else you want to ask about 4chan green texts? Uh, no, I think that'll be it. Good, and we'll end this there.